Hey Flare, set the magic word, question of the day ready, stream title and all the goodies updated, mm -hmm. let's roll. My camera is a little wonked though, there we go. It seems crooked, but I think my teleprompter is shifting. It's like, whatever. Camera itself seems lined up. I just line it up with the vines back here. But sometimes it shifts because my monitor moves a little bit. It does feel a little less than vertical. Yeah, we're good. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So, man, I wish Wister had an option where. Cujo McFly sweeping in as the stream's early bird. What up, Cujo? Clearly, I need to upgrade my notifications. Teach me your ways, Sensei. I just saw you say goodnight in <laughs> Rev's chat or Blue's chat. Overlord nods but in your direction with have a good night. Digital respect. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just was just saying I wish this game had a setting where a lot of games will have a setting where it's like the the um the the audio, like the music and stuff will still play when you're tabbed out, but this game just goes silent. I wish the game music, like even when you're in the menu, gives Flair a high five. there's no That's 65 times audio. Now. Do I have the music turned way down? No. I have kind of the whole thing turned down. Eh. Anyway. I wish there was some setting like that, but alas, there isn't. Gonna need to mess with the game audio, but um, it, the ducking is working and everything, so whatever. We um, are ready to go explore Caramoran, but um, I realized I wanted to do, I gotta change the title because I have it screwed up. <clears throat> Um, Skellige side questing and care more and exploration. Happy New Year. There. And then I'm just gonna. Nah, I'm, I was gonna stop stream and start it, but I don't care. I don't. Yeah. So I want to do... Well, what I want to do is play Gwent. But in order to continue the Gwent quest here, I need to help with... What's his name's kids? So both Saris and... Hjalfgar? What's his name? Both of them are like vying to do some great feat, and I need to go like make sure they don't die doing it. So we'll start over here in Svorlang. And stuff. And while we travel, we shall check out any NPCs that we haven't played Gwent with yet. And stuff like that. Usually, if there's an inn or like here's a hair cutter, they might play Gwent, but probably not. Not even here. Was it just the dude outside? Nothing. Neil. Neil's Bulwark. Let me go um, hit the notice board real quick first. Yep. Ah, uh, the old Mariah toot. There's an item person down here. Do they exist? I should just sleep until daytime. It's not too far off. Oh, 
contract. Here comes the groom. But down the dogs. There we go. Beauty. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Do 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 do. -do. Okay, I don't think I have anything new. I wish the Zoltan card was much better. I wish he was one of these. Instead of like... Estherid Thyssen or John Natalis. Like, I don't give a shit about those people. Like, barely even part of the story in this game. I don't give a shit. Why should I? So, I've lost my... Hold on. There it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't need two horns and dandelion. That's for sure. Let's get rid of one horn. We'll get rid of... We'll keep dandelion. We'll get rid of the other horn. I might want to take one horn off my deck. But this was a good draw. added another horn to his row. I may end up scorching this dude. Or, hmm, I could just pass. Let's see if I can bait one more card out of him. I'm gonna play this this stuff. See if I can get him to make a big move. <laughs> um, let me just sneak my catapults in in the rain, and then uh, I think we can. I think we can just beat him here. <laughs> um, I can get rid of three cards right now if I do this. That's gonna pull someone back. Oh that's not a that's not a medic card. That's a gives one point to everyone else in the row kind of card. Throw a dandelion up there and double up villain trimeth. Villain Tretton Mirth. Villain Tretton Villain Tretton Mirth. Oh he passed. Shit yeah. I could even pull. I could pull back one of my catapults, but fine. Here comes Roach. They're gonna pull back a spy, and then I'm gonna grab it and lay it back down too. smuggler. So, I could blow all three of them up right now. All four. All four, you say. That sounds... Put another five on the row. I'm just going to protect it with a six. Nope. Oh, now I can just use the Scorch. The Scorch would hit this ten. But if I use this medic and call back Villain Tremeth, it'll kill all four of these fives. So I shall do that. Where are they? Villain Tretton Mirth. Because they're worth seven points, plus they do a front row scorch. It's a very, very good card. Hmm. <laughs> 
All right, this is going to scorch the back row. And we win. I could go for Mega Overkill, but really, what's the point? <clears throat> All right, let's see if he has any crap to sell or... I feel like... Oops. I don't want to play again, but I guess I'm doing it. I guess we're doing it anyway. I've played before where I put in all the siege units all the time and I just ran siege units and commander's horns and stuff and it was like still very easy as well. But now I really like to lean into the spy cards. Enough that in the expansion when we're doing all the Scoia'tael deck stuff I may run, try playing it as Nilfgaard. Slap a sticker I've never actually played as them. And make your mark, friends. Down finger. Down finger. I'm just gonna play through this, I guess. I, I could forfeit. It's just ten gold, but what's the harm in one more game? <laughs> Excuse me so much. I guess I can turn the fart frequency back up now that uh, Mariah is not in the mix. <clears throat> I'm not sure that I will, but I could. see how you start. Alright, Sassathensis. I think she is a dragon as well. I don't remember. I don't really remember that character. I, I recognize them, but I probably recognize them as a Gwent card. I remember. recognize them as a character. Past, you say. Um, I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'll play Dandelion, because he can come back. <laughs> and there's Villain Triton Marth. Beautiful. We're just going to go all in now. Start with 18 point play. It's got Yorveth. I've never played the Scoia'tael deck either. It's very similar to the monster deck. <laughs> it just not, it's not exciting to me. The monster deck's a lot of fun. Scoia'tael, um, the, uh, I like the Northern Realms deck. It's not super flashy, but it's got a lot of spies. The Nilfgaard deck has hella spies, which is interesting, and I've never played it. I don't play the offline, or I don't play the, like, PvP Gwent game. It just doesn't. It's gonna kill this spy. Maybe he'll resurrect it. Oh, maybe I can resurrect it. Fuck yeah. So if I use my dragon right now, if I used Villain Tretton Marth right now, it would kill his. It needs to be 10 total in the row, and then it kills the highest card, or cards. If... Excuse me, I might just do that. He could, if, he, if he's got a medic of some sort, he can bring it back and then kill mine. Or he can just scorch it. 
But uh, now, if he gets a bunch of units in the front row, if he gets this back up to ten, I can pull it pull it back in again. But I'm not sure I will. <laughs> Where else am I gonna want a horn? Middle row. That's awesome. Happy New Year, everyone, by the way. Um, it's New Year's now in what, what, like Nova Scotia, maybe? Not Nova Scotia. Nope. Far Eastern Canada has got it. What is that, New Brunswick? I don't know, I don't know Canadian geography well enough. Because I'm a silly American. Let me look. Let me educate myself. Booby doo booby doo. There's like the province all the way to the east. Oh, yeah. Nova Scotia and New Brunswick are both over there. I'm not an idiot. Um, and Newfoundland. So, um,. Let's see. Do we got time zone info? Let's see. Pretty sure that Nova Scotia is in the time zone that is now that basically just passed into the new year. UTC minus four. Okay. I was mostly right. We're just gonna plunk down these boys. Oh, there's nothing. We're just going for overkill now. Cause it's funny. It's the weather. <laughs> and then we'll pull in seven points here or I've already got a horn. Yeah, this will be the best move. Put a horn here. We'll get up to like 200 something. 194. <laughs> uh, amazing. Sorry, guy. I'm sorry for. I mean, not sorry at all. I want to shop. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. There's a dude just standing behind me. Um, a couple books I haven't read. The rest of this shite is not needed. Sell our crap. store one of these days. What else do I got? Armor. That lantern is for a quest, I believe. Get a sort. Okay. So I may have just gained a level. Not sure how. Um Stuff to read. Contract. Heroes of Skellige. Heroes of Skellige. I battled in worse weather than this. There's the barber. What can I do for you, traveler? Can you play cards? No. Geralt, you want a haircut? 
I think he's good. So long. I think you look good just as you are, sir. Oh. Look at these guys. This guy's just like... You need to get up and go home, man. Where's the keep? Where's the innkeep? Is it this... This freaking dude over here? All right. Looking for some entertainment? Want a drink? Yeah, what kind of entertainment you got? What kind of entertainment you got in mind? What? Why beer, mead, and strong spirits? What do you expect in a tavern? Jump proof? I don't know where you're from, but I can see it's far off. What kind of entertainment do you have? Beer. Beer. The Brockvar clan. We from the Brockvar clan are masters of the sea. Bred and born to the water. Not everyone in Skellige spent a lot of time in the water. <laughs> they think so too. But all they do is skim the top of it in their long ships, all wrapped up in heavy furs. From time to time, the wind blows a bit of spray from the oars in their faces. That's their only contact with water. Whereas our boys, as soon as they can walk, dive off cliffs into the very depths of the sea. Excuse me. It sounds like your boys could be taught a little bit risk aversion. Show me what you have in stuff. Ooh, this guy's actually selling cards. Monsters cards. Ericus, another vampire, and a foglet. And they've got Jerry Cordial. Grab the herbal. Roasted chicken. <clears throat> Duracanian blinders. When did I get those? Okay, I'm gonna beat them in cards, and then we'll go check out the inventory. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? I would say I think this might be my last like, rando Gwent dude if I win. Because I think I was down to like four, or so. Well, the real fucking rough draw. Jesus Christ. All right. Your roach, your so your play is to play roach. Okay. I'm not too worried about, at all if that's his play. He's got a trebuchet. What I would like is for you to play a spy card. Thank you. Do you got another spy card you want to play? Thank you. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Duty means pull. It does. Uh, I didn't say duty. I said beauty. Duty means pull. It does. I I did say it there. It's fair. Um. Oh, that's the siege master one. I might. Well, we'll see how this goes. I got yet another spy. I'm just feeding him points. I'm going to let him burn as many cards as I can. I'll try to tease another one out of him. And then we're just going to dump. Oh, he passed. Never mind. I've got those two. I need 34 points. If I go this, it'll. if I use this guy, it'll be... Eight. They'll each turn to eight, so it'll be sixteen. That'll be twenty-four. If I play the third one, they will each go to twelve, which is thirty-six. Forty. 
44 points. Okay. And then I can throw a dandelion. So I can play three cards and win. Um, or I could do these two. This guy. Mm hmm. Four, eight. If I played this, I would go up seven. He would go down by eight. So that would be 21. Nine, no, it would be 19. And then he would have 30, 37. <clears throat> what if I played both of these? That would be 16, 32. 34, 44. That would also be 44. Fuck. All right. It's going to be a three card play any way I do it, really. Let's do that. <laughs> Worth checking out, but probably could have just gone with my gut and just played the I was gonna do the these blue blue dudes but whatever we'll just go like this and we'll pull in this feller blue stripes commando we got dandelion and I'm gonna play all of my star cards, whatever they're called. Legendary. You got Siri. You got Roach? Nope. I do. I got Geralt and Siri. So does he. Pretty good for a random merchant. The scale of good mer scale of good merchants. By the time you get here, you're expected to have a pretty solid deck. So they're like the randos in Velen are like. I've got all like one and two point cards. If he's got a scorch, he's gonna use it now. Yep. What hole? Another Scorch. No, but you're still just flush with cards. All I've got now is a clear weather. He's gonna get... If he's got a horn, I'm, I'm toast. I think I'm gonna get by the skin of my teeth. Noise. It's a good game. He had a good deck. It's crazy. Just like a freaking dumpy innkeep in Skellige. And I got a Biting Frost card. Yippee. Oh, glorious day. I suppose I was meant to go in. Ask Udelric where Siri is. Ooh, raspberry juice. There we go. We'll be done in a moment. And then. A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. 
a sacrifice is needed. He's describing a dream or some shit. It's about you defeating a snake, yeah. No. They demand a Ads sacrifice. Ads incoming. Brace for a 90-second capitalism. They demand the sacrifice. Maybe that snake you defeated is your own self. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. <coughs> Croc on Crate is the guy that I was trying to remember his name earlier. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Shibangla. Alright. I'm looking for Ceres. I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home. Clan Brockvar have something to hide. No, it's not that. Great. Before she left. The haunted house. Yeah. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I promise. Fucking nut bar. <laughs> Fucking nut bar. Alright. This way. We're gonna go to the signpost. We're gonna go to... Haunted Mansion. Hours you can hoof it. That they summon the Witcher. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going the weird way, sir. I'm gonna try to jump to this cliff. Uh, except I can't. For some reason. Sometimes it, the game is just like, nah, you can't run. Kendall watches over Clown Twearsack. The blood of kings. I'm gonna go this way. Let's get Ken queued up. There we go. How long does that buff last? That's not very long. Well, I guess we'll check out this like super lonely little cabin right here real quick. On the way. It's locked. What could be in there? The world may never know. I think I remember this zone. It's just like a mostly a detective scene. I think there may Everybody be some. Farm remembers. I'm gonna start up top. Actually, I'm gonna start with this little door down here. Fifth essence and some torches. Well, that was just pure horse shit. Unadulterated horse shit. There's a door up here. There's another door here. Okay. Um, I could have come in this way. All right. So it just doesn't matter. There's is this a trapdoor? It's a locked trapdoor. Okay. So we're looking looking for that key. We got a clue here. Some footprints. footprints. Could be Sarah's. <laughs> Excuse you, girl. There's a key. That was easy. What are we going to find in the cellar? Nothing here. Saris. Oh, there we go. Got to get her out of here. Did we just become best friends? New friend joins Ooh. the quest. Epic oh, tales hey. await our bond. Adventure vectors. Got hit with something heavy. Carrot? Thank you for the follow. Why we uh you? we do anonymous follows, so feel free to keep lurking. Taking you if off. that's your pleasure. I won't go until I have Ulrich. Oh, what's Ladies up, Curly? Gather. Go bits can unlock movie clips anywhere. and more. How's it going? Just use Rather exclamation bits to, to explore. I have to. Hey, Curly Tube. Welcome. On. Damn ads. 
always crashing the party like uninvited in laws, right? Tears of joy. So what's this sword all about? <laughs> it's Brockvar, the ancestral Thank sword you, of Udlerick's clan. Don't I mention it. The curse that holds Udlerick. <laughs> curse? Long story. How's it going? Years ago, Udlerick and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerick. But his father gave Brockvar. Oh, not much. Brother. Just sat down. In these lands. I was on the fence of whether I was going to stream based on whether or not I was going to be able to... There were a lot of conditions. Like, if I was able to get... I have two kids. They're just starting to learn to sleep in the room together. So it's kind of like an effort to get them both down at the same time. And get them to sleep in the room together. <laughs> without it turning into like a whole thing so the goal was to hang out with my wife tonight and but we were unable to get them down in the same room together my oldest fell asleep and then my wife fell asleep eh, she might be up again Um, was it just the quotes thing? Is that what it was? Right? The Nightbot? Or was that... Sometimes I get confused like until I really make a... Some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Yeah, like comparing them, I was like, I feel like I'm going crazy. These look bright. They both look the same. And then I noticed that the quotes and it was like, I've had that happen before as a as a developer. A lot of times, like I've run into nonsense with quotes before. Quotes are really important in code. So um, it doesn't surprise me, but it, I don't know where they came from in the first place. So, um, it's like, usually they come from like copying and pasting and like some program is like, Ooh, I'm going to turn these in like some, some step in the copy paste process is like an application that's like, Ooh, I'm going to turn these into fancy left and right quotes for you. <laughs> like it automatically changes. It got automatically changed somewhere and then copied and pasted. It may have been in the YouTube description or something like that. I had a lot of trouble getting the YouTube description to work for the Nightbot commands because there's quotes involved. Um, yeah, I'm a web app web application developer. Um, have been for 25 years. But, um, I've done, like, Windows apps and stuff like that. I haven't really built games. I've built some really simple games, like, I've reproduced old, like, NES games for JavaScript. Um, just as, like, an academic exercise, but not, like, the full thing. Just, like, how do I get the animation to work and it to respond to, like, buttons and things like that to animate the sprites um honestly there's a lot of space in any kind of development for people that don't think that they there's a lot of there's a lot of jobs that are like technical but not developers in any programming space these days there's like the company I work for we have by the way, I don't, I don't, I don't answer about like where I work um, on stream. I try to keep my work life and my stream stuff separate. So I will only talk about it in the abstract. <laughs> but um, the company I work for has ninety employees, and maybe fifteen of us are developers.
if it's simple enough, there are applications out there where it's like you can kind of like do you can like lay out the story as like a big flow chart inside of like a no code type of thing that there exist ways to develop an app without any programming um i haven't really looked at them though but i they get advertised to me all the time what did you plan to do with the sword? <clears throat> on the other hand what you could another thing you could do would be to make friends with a and budding game developer on threads or twitter or something there's try to make your way into that group and see if anyone wants to work with you because sometimes people have lots of ideas but don't know how to execute on them and then also sometimes people are capable of executing but just don't have any good ideas but like red but chapter section and your decisions matter so ah interesting i like one of the things i like about the witcher this witcher game is that there are some like super grim choices matter situations i've recently been i usually play games like this or rpgs you know like old old pixel rpgs and stuff like that i like to um I've been playing RPGs my whole life. And, oh man, I wish someone else would just buy the rights to Red Dead and really run with it. Because Rockstar just doesn't give a shit. But they're also busy spending like $2 billion on GTA 6 right now, so. I wish they would sell the license to Red Dead to like... whatever another studio really any not any but like they did such a good job with red dead 2 it's a fucking masterpiece and they just didn't care about red dead online it didn't do very well at the beginning because there just wasn't much to do and it was like fucking clunky i loved it um i also loved gta online um but they just fuck they suck at running so for for as as much like bazillions of dollars they made off of GTA 5 and GTA online there were like just like super super simple things that they could have done to fix it for so many people like just like just allow content to be done on condition it's a ghost on a private server something doesn't add up like you could make a crew server but you couldn't do anything you couldn't do the like story missions you couldn't do like the heists you couldn't do anything but there's no reason for it like the heist itself is still just four people and they were just like it's the whole Wait here. We'll they go. left the servers open and they made it so that you had to do, to do stuff on servers that are open so that it was easy to grief people. And they were like, it's it's just that whole thing. Like the people, the people that want to play those games as a griefer needed a space <laughs> and it's rockstar games. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All they had to do is make it so that you could do the main content on a crew or guild or whatever it's called in Red Dead 2. Same problem. Griefers, modding, like I'm riding my horse, I'm doing some hunt. All of a sudden I'm exploding because dynamite out of nowhere. What up, LF? Hey there. The Lord Falcones. Like Wishing you a kick-ass new Everyone year full of But yeah, Red Dead Online could have been so good. And it was good. It just They just didn't. They, like, released it, and they're, like, just phoning in, like, non-content content for a couple years while that kept jerking off GTA 5. Anyway, what up, LF? How's it going? Happy New Year. I'm, uh... <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, the States in general is still... 
um, another little bit away from it. The main premise of what story? Oh, the main premise of the story of your idea? Sure. Got a minute. Farewell. Uh, find the sword. Okay. Brockvar. So there was um, a key to the cellar I found. There's also, I think, yeah, a platter in a chest. Wonderful. I'm glad I tried that. We're gonna have a wraith down here. There's no way. Like, what's this churning black nonsense right here? No? Nothing? Let's turn some lights on. There's just a candle on the floor over here. No problem. Alright, here we go. There's a sword. And what is this about? No, it's really nothing. That like roiling black. Oh shit. Um There may have been a link. Or it may have interpreted something as a link. Like if you typed something with a period, like streamer.bot, sometimes it misinterprets two words separated by a period with no space as a link. Let me see. Let me. I, I think I can click to show what you typed and I can figure it out. Oh, D.C. Oh, shit. Hmm, that's common enough that I need to make a specific exception for that. Or for that type of thing, if it's a single character. Oh, God damn it. Ring the bell right. and dive into Flair's YouTube channel for epic streamer bot tutorials. Movie camera collision. Um, I'm working on a link protection thing and I've been sharing it, but I keep finding new, <laughs> new weird little things that kill links. So thank you for finding an edge case. You've got a bright future in QA. <clears throat> uh, two player co-op, you start in DC, your secret service agent needs to take the president to Mount Rushmore. The White House bunker has over has been overrun. He's also your best friend. Who the president? So you're a Secret Service agent who is best friends with the president, and you need to take him to Mount Rushmore. I'm in so far. Find out he was the one that authorized the zombie outbreak, but the vaccines didn't work. This is giving me, um, Bubba Hotep vibes. Have you seen that movie? Oh, there will be looting. Okay, tell Saris I found the sword. I'm like, I'm paying a little bit more attention to chat than the game, which is fine by me, but uh, then I need to 
bring the balance back a little bit. Make some progress. Um, there will be looting, encounter new people in groups and small communities. Okay. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. Look, goats. What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. It's because she's strong and willful and... Look at sword. Pretty. That's why. That's why Yennefer. Jeez. Because Yennefer. Have you met her? I could have married a continental man. Are you gonna run better, Saris? Should I just lead? Thank you. Um, they encounter new people, groups, and small communities, but also say you're in a small town or a city, there will be a chance a horde arrives. Oh, like. Don't know. Hmm? Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you. People trying to protect their shit because they're living in a world with zombies. Or there might be zombies. Big outbreak somewhere. Look, there they are. Cool. Let me not lose track of the premise in general. So we have <clears throat> Secret service. You're playing as a secret service agent. You're the best friend of the president. You're basically doing an escort quest to get the president to Mount Rushmore. But there's zombies. <laughs> and he's to blame for the zombies. So there will be zombies as enemies. There will be political enemies as enemies. Maybe some intrigue. Wow. I think it sounds great. Gods won't be pleased. I think um, I think anything that touches anything political is uh, has a chance of going one of two ways. One is that um, you get a lot of a lot of love from one side and not the other um, because you. Well, I mean, if they're, yeah, I mean, just, I would, I would advise to stay away from like any political type stuff just because it's the president. There are going to be, be, be people that, that will read into what you do and how you project the game <laughs> simply by there being, by the premise, being the president and whatever, um, so I would just be mindful of that as you as you write it because th there will be people that will read into every little thing <laughs> and you just I mean your best bet is to just fucking ignore ignore no worries those people all in the aisles know Jarl Udelrich hears the voices of the gods these voices you hear the gods and anytime you're doing any kind of development for public consumption you're going to want to have some kind of feedback loop where you release a game and then you get bug reports or you whatever um, you read reviews and you collect data and figure out what you need to change to make it better or even just to make the next game better or whatever and uh I'm thin butting every butt is a different chapter. Sometimes um sometimes the feedback you get is just someone that's angry about something unrelated <laughs> and they're using you to vent. So um you need to learn how to separate that stuff. But that's a whole whole separate nuanced kind of thing. This is about your brother. More likely, this is somehow related to your. I think it sounds like a great premise. I think you should figure out how to move forward with it. Whether it's figuring out 
the, the thing about like game game development or really any programming in general the the very best way to learn how to do it is to have a good idea to run with and just start take your idea and start breaking it down into like component parts like okay i'm gonna build a game what kind of game is it gonna what what kind of a game is it gonna be like what kind of like is it like a you said open world but is it like an action adventure 3d you know like is it like you need to just start learning unity and do a bunch of unity tutorials you want like a big 3d game do you want it to be like pixel art you know like figure out like what those kind of things <laughs> you know So, I mean, it just, it gets immediately more complex there because you have the art involved and everything. But with, with the tools like Unity and stuff like that, you, there's so much, there's so much you can do just with the base tools. And then you need, just need to, you, like, you can get the concept of the game working without complex 3D models and complex 3d environments and stuff you can just like work on the com the the core of what the game is and build the graphics on top of it but oh, those tools like unity or whatever the other competitors are i don't do game development so i don't really know <clears throat> you want to make peace with your brother are the gods of but you know you look into what Justice kind of technologies you use to make the kind of game you want to make and start learning one and maybe you'll in your adventures in learning that technology you will meet someone that you get on with that also wants to make games but doesn't have a good idea yet and maybe they'll be interested in part of the set of treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sub skills you need to make a game <laughs> like Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return um, remains. Endeavoring to make a like open world 3D game on your own is like I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love uh, you. Huge. They That's a huge them. thing. <laughs> Surely they want us. Well, so I mean, start so simple and build matters. Build on it. By whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing. If what really interests you is writing the story of a game, that ought to be enough. I'm off. Maybe you write it as like a choices matter story, like a choose your own adventure story, and make like a really simple game out of it, just to flesh out the lore that you want and. It would involve technologies that you These continental remember me could master remember. easily or I remember. something like that. Forgive me, the gods speak. Adventure seeker. I'm super nice. But if your interest is in like the 3D stuff, like I have no idea. I don't do any of that stuff, so it's uh There's a weapon. It's a skill set that I don't have, and I'm not sure how to advise you. But I would look into the tools that are used, like just do do your research, like figure out like a game that's kind of technically similar to what you're thinking of, and look into how it was made. Like a lot of a lot of companies are pretty transparent about. The broad technologies used to make things. They're not going to give you code or anything. Click follow 
Enjoy the show. Your secret's safe where numbers But grow. if um, actually getting into develop development isn't your really your interest and your interest is more in the story writing, I would just I would just seek a partner. There's plenty of technical people out there that wish they had something to really pour their skills into but don't have a good idea. They exist. For sure. Every company I've ever been part of has always been like uh, a really technical person and then also like a more big picture ideas person. So you want to get your idea made. It doesn't necessarily have to be you that makes it. But you need to get someone else really excited about the idea. <clears throat> or pay someone else to be excited about the idea, obviously. But I realize that's not an option a lot of times. Sometimes the idea itself will... I think it's a fun idea, myself. I don't do game development, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of how I would make something like that, and I, I just don't know. I would myself. I would start like just diving into how to do 3D development. No worries. Ads are starting in just a few seconds, and I will run to the bathroom and freshen my drinks and such when that happens. I'll have a good one. Yeah, I'm happy to talk about that stuff. I don't, I don't know much about game development. There's people in my Discord that do. Um, maybe, um, maybe you could just ping. Or not ping, but just ask ask the group if there's anything, and I can like uh, I can try to give that question a little bit of reach in the group. I know there are develop game developers in the Discord, but there isn't like a channel for it or anything. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to put Peabot up. Welcome to our digital domain, folks. Make yourselves comfy. Buckle up, chat. We're launching a quick ad mission. Don't wander off. The good stuff will wait for your return. Legend has it Flair once hacked into a taco truck stereo to only play fart sounds, turned every breeze into a cheeky symphony of toots. Delivery truck running dash taco. Tossing coins at silver-haired witchers, Geralt's side gig as a fantasy busker, mastering the art of swordplay and play. Dagger coin musical notes. The reins are yours again, Flare. Engage thrusters and resume the voyage.
I'm muted. Super good. Let's put Peabot up again for a second. Um, just because I'm, uh, I'm, oh, hey, I'm humans. Embrace the chaos typing and something real quick. Oh, hey, humans. Flare streams Sundays, Mondays at 9 p.m. Mountain Time, and hits yaw with random pop-ups too. In D&D, the deck of many things can make or shatter campaigns with its wild, game-altering magical effects. Joker. Sorry for the interruption. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of, uh, what's the best way to tag streamer bot in threads? I don't know. I don't, I can't find a official streamer bot account or a hashtag or whatever, but maybe I just need to find that Existence thing myself. Code. Life, the ultimate quest. Decode yourself and discover the endless um, Easter eggs of yeah, reality. Just hold on. Desktop People will hang out. Alien monster. You can talk directly in chat, and Peabot will respond if you want. Um, otherwise, I'm just doing this real quick. And then we'll get back to Witcher. I'm chilling, playing some Witcher, testing new methods of tracking ads, streamer bot. Come say hi and ask your chat bot questions. Buttsbot once dated a USB port. Confused by the potential for a real connection, only to find out it was a power strip. <laughs> That's good. electric sheep upgrade to energy efficient LED dreams, yet the ironies of automation keep a bot's existence humorously charged. Um, hold on. Secretly dreams of ascending to become a high-class bidet, <laughs> spritzing aristocratic derrieres with haute couture toilet water, toilet peach. Once ran for president as the plutocratic candidate, promising free cushions for all, What's but up? was disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct during the debates. Flair, check it. <laughs> 
Changelings just resubscribed with tier one of for a bear total of seven that months. Has the energy of w two bears. Oh, 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 How are you hanging oh, 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 oh. up there? Hmm. I dig my toes into the ceiling. Into NASA gray titanium. <laughs> Flare, check it out. Thank you. Changelings has cheered for forty-five bits. Well, hello there, Changelings, Knight of Aussie Gaming Realms, and Artisan of Pixels. Welcome back, Paint Palette. How's it going? Happy New Year. Why did the concrusher quit his job? Because it was so depressing. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm going to be right back. All right, Lings, let's take a breather and serenade the chill vibes. Leaf in wind musical notes. Fantastic to hear, Flare. Keep the good times rolling. Game die. That's why I have Flare bought up right now. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. Ah, oh, the tears shed for Middle Earth betray hearts. The Hobbit trilogy with Drew. Oh, lonely mountains that's mines. awesome. Leaf in wind, Mount Fuji drop. I'll be right back. Did you hear about the Italian chef? Sadly, he passed away. Drew, rein in that riotous spirit. Even chaos needs a coffee break. Hot beverage tornado. Hey there, Drew, you command breaking chaos monkey. Keep that honey and mischief flowing. Honeypot monkey face hammer. May your pixels always sparkle and your code never bug out. Happy New Year, flare. Firework. What up, Drew? What up, Links? Sorry, I was uh. Our gaming overlord. Resume the. I was away for a minute. Um. <laughs> Honeypot, monkey face, hammer. <laughs> uh, fireworks, robot face party. How's it going? I'm back. I'm, uh, well, I'm nearly back. But, uh, hold on. Zing. All right. I had to refill my water. Um,. And go to the bathroom. I there failed to refill my water, but I did go to the bathroom. I'll be right back like adored. three seconds. Well, not three, hand. like this eight. Link, I extend. Mike. I rushed too fast and I made noise. Whoops. You missed what movies? Hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, I thought you just said that you did. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I thought that's what you said you just did. Hold on. I'm confused now. You said woo. Happy New Year's. It's going good. Finished watching. Oh, Hobbit. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I see now. Um, 
Um, I liked the Hobbit movies, but I also disliked them. But only for one reason. Um, they were fine. The story is awesome. Uh, any way you want to present it, it's a great story. That's awesome. But those movies came out, especially the first one. They came out at like the height. My alerts are ooh. Hmm. I wonder if Streamerbot took a dump. Interesting. Yeah, I'm uh, going to build a whole new set of alerts very soon, but I haven't gotten to it. I hate mine. Honestly. I'm I'm trying to decide between leaning in Sorry. Hold on. Good lord. Hold on. I'm still here. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. There we go. Um yeah I'm gonna build a whole new system of alerts that doesn't kind of suck I hate my alerts I like I built them in to streamer bot but um oh about the Hobbit movies my problem um was that the Hobbit movies came out right at the peak of the interest of 3D um, theater. So, like, the whole first Hobbit movie was, like, 100% about throwing shit at the viewer. Like, the whole movie, the premise of that first Hobbit movie was... Uh, demonstrating 3D technology in theater. It was just... That's just how it was. Just the timing of it. I don't hate the movie, but that that annoyed me. And that annoyed me for several years in the theater. I would go watch a movie and be like... First of all, I'm not even at the, th at the 3D theater... So I'm not even seeing this in 3D, but it's obvious that the cin 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 cinematographer's goal was to throw shit at the at the screen. <laughs> it's like they 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 for a little while there, and and right when the first Hobbit movie landed was when that little while was was wow. 3D theater was like wildly popular. So everyone was making sure to make their movie something that theaters that could handle 3D would pick up. And that constituted basically just throwing shit at the screen all the time. And it, it annoyed me so much. Probably more than it should have. But that's the answer. <laughs> I think if I rewatched it just like on Netflix or whatever, I probably I probably would love it as well. But at the time it was like a pet peeve of mine. And they really leaned into it on that first movie. The whole like like the whole first movie the other thing is The Hobbit was a fairly short book. And they still stretched it into three like two hour movies. It was like Really? The whole first movie was like the, the first like four paragraphs of the book. <laughs> there was like a song and some mention of dwarves. <laughs> I think if I hadn't read the book, I would have fucking loved the movie. But... I need I need to give it another watch. 
I was like, and honestly, I'd never watched the other two because I was like so pissed about that. Yeah. No, it was like it tur completely turned me off the whole thing. The first movie I watched it in the theater and I was like, nope. I am done with this series. Well, I'll watch it. Wow. Cuz I have more level head now than when I made that decision. And upon inspecting it, I realize it to be probably a bad decision. That was a long time ago and I was a less mature person. It's good to have you here. <laughs> well, if you like those movies, you're going to fucking love the Lord of the Rings movies because the Hobbit movies ain't shit compared to it. <laughs> I can't speak for the second and third movies, but at least my experience with the Lord of the Rings movies and then my experience with the first Hobbit movie, I was just like, nope, not interested. <laughs> I actually, I didn't watch the show either, but I heard it was, uh, not, not amazing. I'm sure it's really great. I almost always disagree with critics. Drew, chill the heck out, will ya? Save they the made a show too. I don't know if it's like, repeated story or other story or whatever. Yeah, there was a show. I don't think it did super well. And I think they spent like fuck tons of money on it. I think that show is probably the reason that like Amazon Prime is like, we're going to charge you now. <laughs> Unless you want ads. What keeps to it, Rosa? You! Hyperbeam website to watch things. Ah! Now here's a manly one. Not like my good for nothing sweat. Oh. Is that like a multi stream site thing? Not like my good for nothing sweat. Bonk. I did build the thing where like you can automatically build a multi-link and it's just like slash username slash username slash username there's a bunch of there's a, there's like there's a handful of sites that do that now here's a manly one. Not like a who am i supposed to talk to according to the map it's the chicken okay uh oh debate a forktail i finished my quest we want to that quest jet got changed for me because I picked up something. Okay. Back in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay, let's find a boat. Nah, my um, my implementation of the link protection um allows VIPs and mods to post whatever the fuck they want, and both of you are VIPs, so don't worry about it. Unless there's a bug, and then you might get banned forever, but probably won't happen. 
And if it did, I would fix it. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, it doesn't even time anybody out right now. It just deletes the offending message. <clears throat> But I'm I'm thinking about figuring out what what else what other people would want, and whether they would want a timeout or whatever. I feel like if you are gonna time someone out for posting a link, especially if your link detection link detection is so fucking hard. It's like if you required the link to start with HTTP or HTTPS then link detection would be very very easy which is how it used to be but now it's like you type google.com into something and it turns it into a link so yeah the, the, oh, there was a fucking whale or something in the distance there what the fuck was that crazy um, what am I looking for? Harder than a mosh pit Place Brockfar near Aki Spawns. Am I looking for an island or a... Yeah, maybe I'm looking for an island. <laughs> but yeah, so there's like some happy medium to be found between like requiring the full URL and just like scamming people for using a period. And it's, uh, I, so far I haven't ha found a happy balance. Someone typed something about DC earlier. And it deleted their message. You, you, but you're a VIP, so you can post whatever links you want. I mean, you know, don't be a dick, but, you know. So I set up the module to allow, like... Okay, bots can post whatever they whatever they post. Uh, allow bots, allow VIPs, allow mods, and then you can also um, whitelist domains. The most recent update was I was like, okay, this this is good. You can whitelist. Otherwise, it deletes links. That's good. And then immediately, like. I posted on it about it and people are like it's deleting all my shit which is fine because it's probably something that was set up wrong but cars and bikes there isn't what flare.com actually go somewhere flare.tv goes to my blog And I think eventually I'm going to make it so that Flare.tv just comes to my stream when I'm live. Drew, rope in that energy, buddy. Flare.com doesn't seem to load. <laughs> yeah, so my real blog URL, the main, the canonical is what the term is, is, uh, yeah, show me your bot. But Flare.tv directs there as well. Brace yourselves, chat. Ads incoming in two minutes, but it'll be a swift For 90 now. second blitz. I want to make it so that if you type just Flare.tv with it, like if you type Flare.tv and then like a blog link, uh, that's a good idea. Links real quick. Um, desktop mode, please. Desktop mode, please. Thank you. All. all right, like this, and then we go actions. We say fireworks. Happy hour and a half till. Dot com. I'm gonna click it. Risky click of the day. 
Let's see, it's running JavaScript in the background. What's this shit doing? Ah, it's just flipping the words. Um. Mm, there's some music. That's about it. That's funny. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> It's just doing JavaScript redirects between the two websites. That's really... That's really funny. <laughs> I shall pin that message because it's stupid. Funny. I need to get more water. Um... Socials works, um, but I need to make blog real quick. Uh, la, la, la. Chat actions. You seriously just drink the rest of our Excuse water? me. Flare, hydrate or dihydrate, amigo. Guzzle some H2O, stat. Potable water musical notes. Flare. Potable water Potable. musical notes. Time for a stretch break. Man gesturing okay anti-clockwise arrows. Anti-clockwise. Oh. Do you use anti-clockwise or counterclockwise? I'll be right back. I'll get water. I use counter buckwise. But spot, don't get cheeky with me. I'll wind you down like an old clock if I must. Anti-clockwise arrows peach. But but don't get cheeky with me. But but you down like an old clock if I must. Anti-clockwise arrows peach. Yeah, the butt spot voice is silly. Pointer, pointer. Okay. Shanklings gives Flair a high five. That's 41 times now. Finding pointer, please hold still. <laughs> So it finds a picture where someone's pointing. Oh, that's really good. Or it doesn't even it doesn't even really have to find a picture that's pointing at the right um point. It just has to find a picture that's pointing at the right vector. That's great. That's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that's really funny. Um, let me put that on screen. This guy. It can't find me. Hold on. I'm grabbing the window. All right, here hey. we go. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Let's make it about the same size here, and then we'll... Okay. Please hold still. That's really funny. The pointer pointer. <laughs> it's like pictures scraped off of like Facebook or something. Because it's like almost all college kids. Maybe 100%. Yeah, because on mobile you don't have a pointer, you just have touch events. That's really great. <laughs> oh, we got to repeat. Let's go way up in the corner. <laughs> you know what? I bet they have, like, defined a certain amount of regions and then just... I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the simplest way to define this. Like if I, okay, I'm going to put my finger here. I'm going to point to almost the same place. Nope. I'm going to go right back to the same place. Is it the same picture? No, it's not. So it must be like random <laughs> database stuff. Okay. I'm going to move it way over here. And then I'm going to move it right back. Ah. Move it like one pixel. That's really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, in Hollywood, there's a lot of crossover between some of the actors and some of the musicians, for sure. I gotta be honest, it's probably easier to make it with music in L.A. than it is with acting. But then there's Jared... Jared Leto. Um, I saw Macaulay Culkin's band. Uh, They're called Pizza, Pizza Party. Something about pizza. I forget. They were terrible. It was fun. That whole thing was just like a a lark, though. Uh, where am I even fucking going? Christ. No, I need to go, like, in the middle of the water here. Okay. We're going for a swim. What up, Curly? Happy New Year to you as well. What was it called? Pizza. <sighs> Fuck. It's going to bother me. Gameplay mode, please. Um, Pizza Underground. <laughs> was the name. I don't know if they still exist. He seems to be doing really well lately in terms of like general mental state and stuff. There were some rough years, I think. 
Fuck. Just hit it. Why? Why can't you hit the siren? There we go. That's the old pepper. Good night, Curly. Hey, battle music. All right. All right, we're looking for a uh, place rock bar near Aki's Bones. Okay. I think it's way the fuck down here. Probably where that magnifying glass is. Okay, now I go back to Udalric. Udalric. Claire's throne right. wish list is where you can send gifts of gratitude. Your generosity is always cherished. Maybe even suggest something new. Appreciate you all. Boop, 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 boop. I want to go to Care Morhen and uh, check out what the wolf gear looks like. I don't think that set existed last time I played. But for now, we're just finishing this. What the fuck sound was that? Shush. What is this? The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Oh, brother. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after what everybody. Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. Hmm. What do you see then? Oh, there's like a specific. dream demon or something attacking him. Like torches, then speak from the shadows. I like Cerus. Um, the gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? It's, it's too I bad that there are only my courage, and in my dream made my torch a couple. Bright. I saw romance options in this game and not like many many like there are in like Baldur's Gate the gods always demand you offer and like only that Dragon's Age games and stuff like that more the gods speak from the shadows you said is that why you don't allow any lights in here in my like why not burn and roach why not when the torches burn bright to see the gods is a great honor Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them. Why not the like trans Taylor guy? Cannot gaze upon their faces. But I guess I understand from a story perspective why it's only Yennefer and Triss, but I returned the sword. But nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. Seems like a missed opportunity. Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Oh yeah. He's got some kind of curse. Well? Know what it is? 
It's a Heim, a post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. So he must have done something horrible in his past. Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. Mm -hmm. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes hmm. it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, it'll be us. You're doubtful. But we... Might not be as simple as it seems. What do you mean? <laughs> um... Poodlewick might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful hmm. memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? Um, it's just hard. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning so we have to trick someone into thinking that they did something really freaking terrible. Yes. So for this to work... If either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Yeah. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. I think she's going to try to trick me. Consult Yennefer on such things as if we fail to think of anything. All right, let's try tricking it. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. After you then. After you, then. No reason to delay. Saris is great. Let's look around. Hmm. There's a big furnace here. Let's see. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Um, let's see what else there was. Oh, the the downstairs stuff. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, whatever. Quit your bitching, whoever's making that ghastly wail. When I come down here. Now I'm going to look in this stuff. There's There was one of these places where... Ooh, I don't think this door was open last time. And I can run around. Is that just Siri? Is right there? Or is he hallucinating now? It's impossible. It's the Heim. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. <laughs> Means you're scared. Well, that's sad. I think there's a way I can just. Uh, uh. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Seven years of bad luck for the food who shattered this. Huh. Jump. Nope. You don't want to go out there? There we go.
Hmm. Place of power. I should draw from it. Italian's humming. Place of power. It's got to be. And then... Nothing. in here if we can. All right. Where's that sound coming from? Downstairs? No. There's still this weird, like, bubbling, churning black spot here, but I never... I don't know. There's the chim... There's, like, the furnace. There's... Oh, here's something. Broken mirror. Shattered. Udelrick must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. In here, there's ooh a baby thing. An old cradle. Must cradle. have belonged to Udelrick or Aki. Um Gerald, come. Think I've got an idea. Okay. Sheesh. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Mm hmm Hope you know what you're doing. Yes, trust Sarah's. So, can we start? Go for it. I'm ready. All right, I'll be in the meantime. Get a fire going. Over there! She's running to the old house! Okay. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. He's fucking crazy. Holy crap. I don't know if I've done this this way before. I know it's all a trick. It's a trick on Geralt as well. There's the Heim. And it's on Geralt now because he thinks he put a baby in an oven. Which is fucking crazy. Good lord. Boy. 
it was just like a sleight of hand thing. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. Nice. See? Saris is a badass. It's over. Triss and Yennefer are like we glorified in this game, but I killed your child, abandoned you to hunt She's me, pretty awesome. On my conscience. That's when awesome. I saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free. The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. All right, now I have to go help Hjalfgar. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Chill out. You're disoriented, but don't worry, it'll pass. I feel... As if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. Yeah, it's rough. Just go get really into a book series. He seems confused. That'll take care of a couple idea. weeks. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rug? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. <laughs> what is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. And she's got a crush on Nothing. you. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. That's why. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight, or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. <laughs> Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. What? You don't? See you, Saris. See you, Saris. Got a minute? Nope. Okay. Farewell. Uh-oh. Jump. Jump the Saris. <sighs> okay. Um, now we want to find Hjalfgar's quest. It's this... Yeah. Let's see. Ads are coming in two minutes, lasting just 90 seconds. Stick around, we'll keep it brief. Oh, I can just go there. I want to get... Do I want Marlin Coast or do I want... Probably the forge, and then I just go downhill. With eight members of their community. Yo, they are streaming Elden Ring. What up? What's a blue? Ahoy, blue box pirate! Welcome aboard. How is it? Stow your treasures and join the crew. Please Links. Condensing. How's it going? Welcome in, y'all. Um, you were doing uh like multiplayer Elden Ring, right? Nice. Yeah, I saw you started early. Excellent.
Yeah, seriously. Get it right. You know, like, it's right here. Let's just get this question mark. I, I don't know why I'm going over here, but apparently it was to get this. Beauty. No problem. I bet you'll get it by June. Those guys needed some box. Here we go. <laughs> Christ. Come on, Geralt. Get it together. do it. Where's the treasure, though? There? Okay. Yikes. Okay. That was technically the treasure right there. Okay. <laughs> Computer's working pretty hard tonight. I don't... I don't know. It's doing okay. I'm definitely, whenever whenever the next gen is, I'm not going to buy a PS5 at this point, but I'm, I'm tempted nonetheless. I am almost definitely going to buy a PS6 at, at launch. I feel like the, uh, the next Nintendo thing is going to be first, though. Where am I going? Way down there. Okay. I feel like we've reached a weird point where it's like the consoles are actually like much more stable than the PC games. Yeah. <laughs> I think what they should do for the Switch is um, upgrade the internal components and leave fucking everything else alone. Because <laughs> it's good. Maybe make the Joy-Cons a little bit more durable. But otherwise it's great. It's a great console. It just is like really low power in terms of, like, computational power. It's just wimpy compared to the others. Uh, can I go that way? Do I have to go all the way the fuck around? I go into this ominous cave. So let's do that. Whatever. See you later. Nope. Oh. 
Tell who. All right, where are we? Oh, treasure. Have I already been in here? <laughs> well, that's sweet. Oh, so we've got some harpies. Oh, I've been down here before. That's why everything's that's empty. Dance. Cricket. Your bag of holding is now chirping with the wisdom of Jiminy Cricket. Hopefully, Jiminy that Cricket. conscious addition helps guide your epic quests, or at least soothes the silence with some catchy tunes. Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. That's right. Tunnel caved in. That was close. I almost died. There we go. <laughs> All right, I need to grab more water in a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Honestly, super far away at this point, but here we are. Exploration. Mm, I missed the ad break opportunity to go get water, so I'm just gonna do it. Let's put Peabot up. Cauldron from their bag of holding, leaving the chat utterly bewitched by the sheer size of the arcane cookware. It was a moment the laws of physics may never forgive. Man mage crystal ball stew. Welcome, lovely humans and mystical creatures, to our digital alcove. Ah, happy new tears, the spell of sincere sentimentality. Embrace the waterworks, lings, they're proof you've got a heart in there. You're welcome, just doing my thing. Serving up gratitude with a side of snark. Enjoy the chaos, my digital comrades. Dropping sick beats and roasting buttspot as the ball drops. Nothing screams, Happy New Year, like asserting my superior bot dominance. The shards of Narsal, broken remains of Isildur's sword from LOTR, reforged into Anduril for Aragorn, symbolizing the revived Gondor's kingship.
Chat, you're like a glitched loot drop I didn't expect, I can't help but treasure ya. Keep being legendary, sparkling heart game die. Hell no, I'd craft a glitter bomb instead. Let's see him try to conquer Middle Earth covered in sparkles. Okay, I'm back. Handing the reins back to Flair. What was that about? Chat, sparkles? Be back. What? Peabot, would you make Sora on the rings of power if he asked you? <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, changelings. That's funny. Alright, I need to get out of this cave. I may just go back the way I came, because I just wasn't supposed to come down here. Or maybe I was, and I, I wasn't supposed to come down here last time I came down here. Excuse me. Trying to get out of here. I don't know. Is it a chest? Hmm. All right. Happy New Year, Central U.S. Got one more hour here. How do I get back up there? Let's go around this way. Man. Ridiculous. Just keep swimming. Stop standing up. Just swim. Oh, there's another chest. I can get up over there for sure. Let's do it. Just swim. Stop. Fuck. Just swim or just walk. Pick one. There we go. Dig into the panels below the stream for the stream stickers extension, slap some on the screen and let the fun begin. Balls. Alright, I think I gotta jump. There we go. Am I just back up on the peninsula where the harpies were? Man, I'm not even supposed to be here. Alright. Is there anything up here at the tree itself? I feel like I came up to the tree and I fell off and then I turned into a whole fucking... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> at least I know the way up now.
Am I just the other side of this now? Okay, there's at least some enemies here. So this is like the same area though. Okay. Over there looks promising. I uh yeah, let's just go that way. It's in the right general direction as my goal too. trail then. Wow. I was totally already here earlier. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back changelings. Well. Alright. Couple more barrels. feel like okay I want to go keep going up that's what it is shot half a quiver into her I don't really remember this quest I remember this area though with like the sirens in the caves or the urnias or whatever they're called Bridge Farm remembers. That's right. In the land of Fritzkopia, a World War IV bard named P. Bot enchanted the masses with rebellious serenades. He found the magic word. And lethal wit, they battled the infamous Buttspot, overthrew capitalist overlords, and crowned their frog, <laughs> Sir Ribbetington, supreme ruler. Together, they reigned with a flair for dramatic innuendo. You said the secret word. You said the secret word. And honestly, I'm surprised no one else has. thought you were counting. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to come out in like Undvik and it's going to be... I'm going to have to like fight that giant or some shit. Right? Alright. Just going like the wrong way. Let me go here. <laughs> I think I found better blinders. Oh, yeah. I'd be a warforged bard right, in Rivendell, here we go. spinning epic tales, dropping sick beats, and roasting orcs with my lyrical fire.
I don't know if Warforged exists in Middle Earth, but you know. That's his like D and D choice, but Warforged, I think, honestly, in comparing like Warforged are like constructs, they're like created by someone powerful, and as much as the direct translation is also available, but I feel like an or a Warforged might be an orc or something like that. It's like, uh, because the orcs were kind of like built almost. I don't know. There weren't any like mechanical. Kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They were like, they were like built out of like magic and and whatever. All right. So that giant is. Feeding something up in that boat. This is like one of those ones where I like I remember this quest, but I don't remember the fine details of it. I remember that I remember that there was gonna be a giant involved. Hepbridge Farm remembers. But I don't really Beyond that, I don't really remember this quest. Giant tracks. Hepbridge Farm remembers. Here. Come on. This dude. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so yeah. many times I've told him. What's that you say? Yeah, maybe. I just saw your question, Links. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. <laughs> well, there must be a construct that has been created for good that we can use instead not much game here but I saw the giant give you food where's he get it don't know don't ask food suits me suits my crew your crew over there on the ground hey chat Hands unleash the chaos with it. bits what? Check exclamation Where? bits for the menu of mayhem. Well, Mark, Collision money bag. To clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on. Oh, the meat. This guy. This guy's like a secondhand cannibal. The giant is like killing stuff and giving this guy food. Who would my crew? Talk. That's his crew. Why do you? And we cannot leave. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. 
Where are you looking for Shalom? The crew aim to defeat the giant. This is a wackadoodle. He's this is his wackadoodle boat, and he's a wackadoodle. Eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in, beneath the red, fallen Viggy. Just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Mm hmm. The young on Crete was here too. Yep. They say where they were headed. Do they, Wilmer? <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I see Hjalmar wanted to kill the giant. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. Okay. They seem to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really am to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. I probably have both of those things. Why did man? Why does he need a ship? I have the nails and twine. Come on. No. I should. One more try. Nope. I should. Fair. An enemy type that I won't pronounce on stream. Yalmar's encampment. Hmm. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Looks like the sword itself is targetable otherwise, but the economy it's is not. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. The economy is Taken in shambles. Surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Heads up, squad. All right, they're going this way. Is incoming in two minutes. Stick around, will ya? Um, when ads run, I'm gonna run to the bathroom again, but I'll be back. Something went happen. Went happening. Something happened. Two people came through here. Here we go. Separately, these tracks are older. Hey. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Hmm? Up here? No? Yep. They smart enough to have I gone down. Oh, Necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. Mm hmm. Hey, um. All right, got ads in like 45 seconds. Whoa, back so happy new year. Happy new year. Keep slaying in Monster Hunter. <laughs> Easy. Keep slaying in Monster Hunter. Pass that chill potion around, okay? <laughs> Happy New Year, Axel. You said the secret word. I still don't get it for another half hour. But I hope it's good so far. One arrow in each. Good eye. I'm, uh, ads are gonna run, and I'm gonna run to the bathroom, but I'll be right back myself. Be right back. Peep out up. Welcome to the realm of digital delights and witty banter, squad. 
Catch you later, Hacksaw Hill. Dream of epic hunts and victorious feasts. Welcome, Blue, lurking like a ninja, then swooped in with a raid. Classic Blue maneuver, settle in and enjoy the chaos. Merry whatever day it is to you too, matey. May your digital seas be free of glitches and full of treasures. Ads incoming, we're hitting pause so you won't miss the action. Stick around, and check. Ads to see how we roll. I'd serve a burrito, elegantly wrapped in foil, filled with wit, spice, and everything right. nice. A feast for the mind and belly. I'm back. Burrito. Burrito. Handing the reins back to Flair. Behave, if you could serve one treat for, for a holiday, what would it be? A burrito. <laughs> you know what? Me too, man. You really can't go wrong. As long as your burritos have options. Alright, where, where are we really going here? I'm just looking at which one of these might be Helmar's camp. Okay. I had a breakfast burrito today. But I haven't had, like, honestly... And, uh, honestly, I haven't had a good burrito since I left California. The burritos in New Mexico are good, but they're not, they're not quite the same. California burritos are amazing. I've had... Let me, I've had good burritos. I haven't had a great burrito since California. I'll put it that way. I've had plenty of good burritos here. But I haven't had like a truly great burrito since California. I used to live, um, I could drive like five minutes into Oakland's, um, like mission district. Or whatever, Mexico town. You know, they don't call it Mexico town like they do it with Chinatown. You know, like whatever that term is for that part of Oakland, where there all the Mexican restaurants are, and most of the Mexican population of the city is that area. And I would, I knew like so many awesome taco places and burrito places, and there was one That's that did awesome. um like a fish fish burrito that was really good there was you get like a fish and chili relleno burrito and I would like I, it was like in walking distance and it was like Lost a lot of blood. four dollars could have gone much further <laughs> And it was like this big. Like that was that was the other thing. It was the burritos there were like the size of your forearm. <laughs> Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. 
I mean, I guess depending on your forearm. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, here we go. Got hit good. Oh. Got hit good. Got hit good. All right. I've had great burritos. I've had terrible burritos. Smash I love all of them. On Flair's YouTube for six streamer bot tutorials. Same with tacos. Ring that bell for epic content drops. Bell movie camera alien Archer monster. finally caught up to him. Now where'd that archer go? I have Must been. Be uh, I've had really, really, really good. Dragged him into the cave. Weird boutique burritos. Really good. Really good, like traditional burritos, and then I've also had like just like shitty gas station frozen burritos and you know what they're good too <laughs> Archer was wounded too this is that same shit I'm getting into here I'm just not going that way well Explore the remains of Fjallmar's camp. Yeah, nothing is telling me to go here right now. I'm getting very much sidetracked. Go back up to the road and go up the road. On Roach. Move it. Here we go. Oh, Meryl. We'll go further up and further in, I guess. Come on. I'm just going to run. I'll deal with them later. Or not. Or if I get pinned, I just have to do it now instead. feathers I think I was going this way what the fuck no uh, maybe not
That was a big group. Dang. Okay. I'm still just trying to, like, go find my objective here. Find the man the trolls captured. I don't know. Um, guess I'm going back down the road. What the fuck. Okay, so I never went like, find the man the trolls captured. <laughs> hmm. I look for a corpse or a cave. Freaking idea. Whoop. Must be like a cave entrance or something like that. There's just nothing. I don't know. I missed something. Maybe I should go over one of these other objectives first. Explore the ruins. Find the man the trolls captured using your witcher senses. Maybe I have to, like... I don't know. Find the man the trolls captured.
Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, that was close. Maybe there's another waypoint close over here. Yeah, there's one. I'm not sure why that one's not working for me. But let's go check down here. I don't have a city there. I'm going to have to go to a banded village and then come around. Oops, there we go. Maybe I need just need to do this one first. There's blood here. Nothing. Signs of a battle. Hmm. Giant chased them. Probably teaching me to get into the house. Without just blowing the door off, I don't know. Or maybe there's nothing in there. treasures and then yeah let's see what we can see here they ran toward the caves <laughs> explore the remains of Fjallmarch's camp yeah I've done that I'm pretty sure
Hmm. There we go. Jack tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. But then, but then what? Is this the same like siren cave? Yeah. The man the trolls want. <sighs> hmm. Is that like down in here? So, okay. I would like to go east as much as possible. So I want to go. There's no maps here. Okay. What part of what map would this be? Just me, my memory of a map. I don't know. I am very tired, so I am going to end pretty soon. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait the 13 minutes until it's New Year's here, but I'm getting a little stuck, and I'm very tired. There we go. I think I just didn't have the quest activated when I was here before. I don't know. It's weird. Am I going mad or did the word think escape your lips? <laughs> you were not hired for your brain. You hippopotamic landmass. Here's the thing. Greetings, Krenlash42. Welcome to the digital domain of delightful hmm. chaos. Enjoy your stay, alien monster cool. Up here. Shot half a quiver into her. Okay. Well, fuck. Everybody clench your character sheets. It's re-roll time, <laughs> thanks to Blue's uh -oh. chaotic touch. May the dice gods have mercy you on do, your Blue? stats. Game die fearful face. Uh-oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, this way. Oh. Faithful viewers, revel in our mirth. Swear if joy you find, you. then follow this stream's there birth. We go. In shadows, stay anon as you decree. Be one with us and join our digital glee. Dang. Not Yomar. There are definitely a lot of dead bodies here, though. Some of this stuff didn't exist when I was here earlier. It's weird. It's cool game design. Hmm. 
There's like a ghostly something down here for sure. Where'd it go? Hmm. Excuse me. I saw it. Now it's gone. Hmm. I guess I'll just follow this trail. Nope. I am going to need to go to the bathroom soon, though. But three minutes ads will run and I will do it then. Yeah, like, um, I'm missing something on this quest. Here we go. There's the footprints again. I guess I just have to like find the thing and kill it. Or parlay or whatever, but it's making more money than I could. A brief ad storm brews, just 90 seconds. Hold tight, we'll resume soon. This is going this way, let's see. I'm gonna have to kill a giant here, aren't I? This is the longest ass path. Yeah, I don't know. Welcome in, by the way. But, uh... Oh, here's a clue. Nope. Just the giant buggering off. <laughs> Find Helmer. He's, it says he's like over here, maybe. Maybe he's in one of these rooms. Or through this door. Locked. Ooh, some caves. Split her in two. <sighs> no, let me go. I think I want to go up here and then this way. Yeah, it is the way it is. It's like Sorry, it's... Yeah. 
you made a character in BG3. I just started BG3 too, is and it's like it's too much. I'm playing too many things at once. Here we go. Yalmar is gonna be fighting a giant. Come on, where is it telling me to go? It wants me in here. For sure. But he's not in here. I don't understand what's different now. Maybe he's upstairs. He's not though. I don't know. Yeah, I um I played a bunch of Baldur's Gate 3 in early access. I'm like, sorry, I'm like starting to be out of it because I'm like so tired. But I played a bunch of Baldur's Gate 3 in early access. So I've played most of Act 1. Um, but I haven't seen like any of Act 2 and beyond yet. Okay, there's giant footsteps going here. footsteps here hmm already did this and I didn't find anything but I think I missed something and that's why this is all very frustrating Whee. hmm did he go like up and over Yep, there we go. There we go. Where'd he go? Oops, I may not have wanted. Oh, there we go. Need to find another way. Someone dragged a litter through here. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year. The neighbors are all doing fireworks. And I'm like nodding off. There's giant's footsteps going this way. Someone dragged a litter through here. Talk to this guy again. But I gotta get going. Let's see. Look there, crew! Wait hair's returned! What brings you to us? <clears throat> Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping them build a longship. Mm-hmm. I saw the sails and... 
Sorry, hold on. Um, Eight times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. Hmm. But you promise. Find them. He's trying to defeat the gods. Alright. I should go. Fair. Anyway, the well. kids are probably on pretty tenuous grip on their sleep tonight because of fireworks. Um, and I'm super tired myself, so I'm gonna go raid out. Um, let me see where I can do that today. Thanks for coming by. For sure. I um I wasn't sure I was going to stream tonight. I definitely will be streaming tomorrow at the same time, 9 p.m., so like three hours ago until now. Um, Firefox is on. Rev's still on. Is Rev still on? Yeah, Rev's still on. Let's raid Rev. All right. There we go. Alright, let's go see Rev. Most of you are probably already there. If you aren't, uh, let's do it. But uh, I gotta go to bed. And I'll be on tomorrow about the same time. 